Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to May's general monthly reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who likes and shares my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate out to more and more individuals just like you who need this information too. And I want to thank every one of you who have donated to my channel, supporting this invaluable information to get out to as many individuals as I possibly can. And I want to thank all of you also who desired in the past to donate to me, but couldn't because I did not have a PayPal account. Well, I have one now. And so anytime any of you would ever like to donate to my channel, it's so much appreciated. And you can find the link, a PayPal link, donation link below this video and most of my videos, all of my astro astrological videos and then all of my um, monthly videos starting this year of 2022 have that link. Okay, and we have a pretty big month because today I'm taping on the 25th of April and on the 30th of April we have a new moon in Taurus and it's 10 degrees and it's actually conjunct to Uranus within about four and a half degrees to Taurus Uranus transiting, which is a big deal because that, for those of you that don't know, Uranus has everything to do with quick, unexpected changes. So this new moon expects some, some of you unexpected or some type of quick changes. Maybe it's not ex unexpected, but it's quick. And especially if you have any major planets or your nodes in Taurus, you might want to check that out on your natal wheel. And then the degree. Now, even though the closer the degree, it could definitely have a more intense Feeling, but no matter the degree, if it's in Taurus, you're gonna something is going to transform in your life around now uh, because it's four to five days before the new moon, and then four to five days after the new moon. So again, the 25th of April through about the 5th of May. 4th of May. Yes. Okay. All right. And then we have the full moon is going to be in Scorpio and that will be on the 16th of May, 25 degrees. And then the second new moon will be on the 30th of May. And that is going to be nine degrees Gemini in your sign. So that is also going to be a major deal for you. Gemini's, whatever your sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon, anything squaring or opposing as well. For any of those, you might want to check on your natal wheel because that will be affecting all of you who have any of those, especially the hard aspects to these new moons and full moon will be extra important for all of you. Okay. Mercury also is going to go retrograde and it's going to be going retrograde in your sign, Gemini, four degrees on the 10th of May and it will be retrograde all month and it will go back um, 
retrograde back into Taurus, all the way back to 26 degrees Taurus by the end of this month. And then it's not going to go direct until I think it's the 3rd of June. Okay, and last but not least, transiting Jupiter is going from Pisces into Aries, and that will be on May 11th. And then Saturn is going to be 24, 25 degrees Aquarius through this whole month. And Pluto is still retrograde in Capricorn, and it will be retrograde all of this month of May, 28 degrees Capricorn. Okay, so that is all I have with, with the astrological. Let's now Gemini's, let's see what is going on for you for this month. Now, I should say, now, April 25th through month of May. For Gemini's, what do Gemini's need to know from this light of language of light deck? What do Gemini's need to know? And is there anything else general for Gemini or a specific Gemini out there that I need to say before I begin? This reading for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, north or south moons of the moon. Okay. okay, so we have, or Gemini's, you have, I should say, it's number 26, and that also breaks, that adds up to be a number 8, so 26 or 8 could be significant. Now, number eight, I just got two, that, um, that, I got number eight as a significant number for the Taurus reading. And so I don't know, but I was just drawn to, to say that to you, Gemini's, because maybe you have something specifically in Taurus and maybe it's eight degrees, or maybe your, actually your sun sign is Taurus, and you have a Gemini moon or rising or north or south moons of the moon. And so if that's true, then your birthday could be, if you have a sun sign Taurus, it could be on the 8th. So happy birthday if that's true. I was just called to say that because somebody out there does. So, okay. So this, this Visca... And I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Um, V-E-S-I-C-A -E is one word. And then the second word is P-I-S-C-I-S. -I -I and so but what I'm getting intuitively is this has to do with joining. You could be joining with another someone physically joining like lovingly joining romantic or a friendship, meeting someone new or reestablishing, I'm getting for some of you, reestablishing your, your connection with someone else this month, Gemini, in a very loving way. And maybe this is what some of you have been desiring, I'm getting as a particular message. You have been desiring this, you've been wanting this, and you've been wanting to contact, you've been wanting to communicate some loving message, deep message, loving message, connection, um, reigniting a connection again with this communication. Maybe that's something you've been desiring, you've been thinking about, you've been wishing for, or maybe it's just happened for some of you. And again, this could be new, a new relationship as well. And it really just... Um, being drawn to the, the light and the explosion. It's like a, whew, wow, it happened very quickly, maybe for some of you, or it's going to, and it's, it's just like a, um, getting the picture of like when two planets collide, there's like this boom of energy, 
uh, or colliding of, of frequencies or energies or alchemy, alchemy, boom, coming together and it just brings this huge light and energetic um, surge of boom of light if that makes any sense that's what I'm seeing and that's what that picture showed me that's what I saw so that's how it could have felt for some of you or how it might feel it's like a very instant very unexpected um, flash of energy of shared energy combined energy that was very very positive very positive and it hit your heart space for some of you Gemini's it has or will okay so let's let's get let's see what wants to be told from my soul deck for you Gemini's okay so what what do Gemini's Sun Moon rising north or south nodes of the moon for Gemini. What do they need to know for May or now through May? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, Gemini's, isn't this amazing? Um, it's all about connections. It's all about another person collaborating with at least one other person. Both of these have two people in pictures along with and I saw again two at least two of you coming together in collaboration in communication in joining in some way and here again yes look at this very healing is what I'm getting on this card whether it's a friendship or a reestablishing maybe you're already in in um, a romantic relationship and you are re-establishing it. Something is, is being healed or something is being healed with a friendship. Past, past maybe whether you have not been in communication or you've been in communication. But something, it's a joining. It's a joining forces, joining energies it's a, a camaraderie it's um a it's a very positive thing absolutely very positive because you can't join unless your frequencies are similar so you might be maybe you i just got some of you could have been that's what you specifically were working on is A more open mind a higher frequency you've been increasing your frequency your vibration your healing maybe you specifically Gemini's have been healing and so that has increased your vibration that has enabled you to expand and open up your mind and see things in a way that you weren't able to see before and so now you can um, you're wanting to to reconnect or you're wanting to reach out to this other person, again, whether it's a friend, family member, or a romantic partner, um, where you weren't on the same wavelength, maybe now you can be, or you're, you want to be now. And this is a male-female, so this has to do with some of you, it's a male-female relationship, friendship, um, again, uh, it could be a family member that's absolutely you know it could be romantic it could be and maybe it's just about clearing the air and um, because there was a rift I just got for specific some of you there was a rift and it seemed impassable well now it's not now you're seeing that that um, it's time to heal it's time to heal that whatever Again, whatever happened, the energies are healing energies now, Communi communication, healing energies for you to be able to do that for both of you.
some of you have been dreaming about this. Maybe you've had some dreams that you were able to finally mend this, whatever that is, and come in to alignment with this other person. I'm just getting dreaming. You've been dreaming about this. You've been thinking about this. Maybe this is a deep desire of yours, a dream of yours, whether it's a You've been physically dreaming at night. You had a dream. Some of you could have had a physical dream that showed that you were reconnecting or able to reconnect and join with this um, um, having this collaboration, having this camaraderie now where you didn't before. This rift being mended for those that that applies to. And maybe some of you have been, this is what you've been consciously thinking about and wishing for and hoping for. Okay, so let's, well, it's coming, it's coming. And maybe some of you, I just got two, that you knew that it, it had to do, you had to make some changes. And you weren't ready at the time to make those changes. And now you have been working through, or maybe this is something for some of you that you will see, and this now through May, and you will begin, you will see that it is something that you now can work through on a personal level so that you can come into alignment with yourself first and foremost and clearing whatever that is that must be cleared up within you before you can move forward with a relationship. Maybe something's been put on hold. Maybe you put the relationship on hold for some of you I'm getting as well because you have had to take time out for yourself. I just got to so a lot of messages. So Yes, time out for yourself. It's for you to to see what you needed to get in tune with yourself is another message for some of you Geminis to see um, and decide, be able to really take time to make sure or to 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 find out what specifically is right for you and if this relationship or partnership or whatever that you um, all were needing to to check into with yourself what I'm also getting what is the best avenue for you to take with a specific relationship Gemini's you put it on hold you've been taking time out or you will be taking time out and putting it on hold for you to find out what is best for you first and foremost, and then you will be able to take action, whatever is best for you. And it's going to be healing. It's going to be the best thing for all. So you don't have to worry about that. But it's a big um, call to, to take inventory of yourself and so that you know that this is coming from you and, and getting in touch with yourself I'm seeing is a really big thing this month so that you can know for sure that this is what is best for you. This is what you want for you. Um, all having to do with you and partnerships, other relationships, male, female, friendships, family member, whatever that is. This is your month to do that for yourself, Gemini's. Okay, so now, okay, so I'm being called to take this. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say more details about this but it's definitely having to do with partnerships with you Gemini's which you're the twin so and maybe it has to do with checking in with the other part of yourself I just got two for some of you so that you know for sure like what I was just speaking about that it's best for you it's best for you so taking that time and that's perfectly all right doing whatever you need to do spending that time with yourself whenever you see 
fit to do that this month. Absolutely do that so that you can get the most accurate information, reliable, most, um, so you're away from others' energies is what I'm seeing, so that you can tap into you and what's best for you. And that, first and foremost, before taking any action, I just got for some of you, before taking any action. So you take your time. And anyone I'm getting, someone, this is specific, I think, for someone or some, a few of you, if you are being um, called to, if another from the outside is trying to hurry you up and get you to make a fast decision, it's not in your best interest I'm getting. For those that this pertains to, sounds right for, no, you take your time. You, no matter how demanding they might get, you take the time that you need with yourself before you answer them, before you can give them a, an accurate answer. And if you don't do that, you might wish you did, is what I'm getting, because you will have not checked in with yourself accurately enough. So take time before you jump, before you leap, is what I'm getting. Okay. And this one too. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, okay. Yeah, you have, we have the Knight of Cups. So yes, there is, there's love coming in. Whether you're, you're the one coming in with the love. This could be friendship. This could be romantic. Offer. Either way. A cup of love. Love is being offered to you or you are offering this to another sometime this month. You're ready to do so for those that are have been indecisive about that. You've been working on yourself. You've been healing. And now you're ready. You're, you're ready to bring another, I'm getting this another message for some of you. You're, you're now ready to leap, to make that leap to take, to offer your cup of love to another. You're now ready. You've done all the necessary healing and inner work I'm getting for some of you. Yeah, and it's been tough. It's been tough. Nine of Wands. But look at that. You have created, you have created a solid, solid, sturdy, sturdy foundation for yourself. And you took some beating. That's right. You have some scars, but those are, you can be proud of those scars because they gave you wisdom that you wouldn't have had without having to go through all of these experiences in the past that you have now put in the past and you've left in the past. You've already done that, Gemini's. That's what I'm seeing. You've completed that. And you're looking back, some of you, and just you can be proud of yourselves because you have you have really come far. You have transformed yourself, your life, and you're ready for this new love. And and if it's not a particular, if it's not romantic love or a new friend love, it could also be the love of yourself and this new life that you're ready to now jump into. You're, you're ready to love your life and enjoy your life, this new life. Because Again, the nine of, of wands, you see those budding new, new beginnings. You're ready. You're ready now. Your heart is open to life, to new life in general. And here, look at this, the ace of pentacles. This is where you're going because of all of this hard work you've done. Inner work, self-love. Maybe this is self-love for some of you. You see your value and, 
and how far you've come and you are grateful, you're thankful, and your heart is open to these, this new adventure, new abundance. Look at this. It's coming in. This is, you're being gifted something. You're being gifted something. Some type of abundance is about ready to pop for you. It's about ready to show itself in your physical reality very soon. Gemini's. Wow. And it's because of all the hard work you've done. It will, it will equal or actually go beyond whatever the hard work that you have done and gone through, whatever these trials and tribulations were, it's going to equal, at least equal, the abundance will equal, if not go beyond, even better than what the hardship you had to endure. Yeah, again, look at this, nine of cups. You have 99, so again, your, your ending, you have ended a cycle and you have a new beginning coming. And you're going to love it. Again, you are very proud of yourself. You're very happy for how far you've come. And again, your heart is open. You are ready for this new emotional, you are emotionally ready, you are physically ready for this new abundance to come in to your life. And it's dream come true. You've worked hard for this dream. And now you get to watch it materialize before your eyes now through um, April 25th through the end of May in some way, Gemini's, you are going to see fruition, a dream come true, some type of monetary gift. It's going to be something physical. And of course, abundance is different for all of us, but money is one of those abundances. It's a physical manifestation and you're going to love it, whatever it is. It's going to be different for all of you, of course, because you're all different. You're different areas, different um, places on your path, on your journey. And so it is going to be different. You have different desires, different wishes. But you can definitely see it. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, I'm getting a call to, let's go a little deeper. And I'm going to get one card for each of these tarot cards starting with the Knight of Cups and ending with the Nine of Cups. So let's start with, get some more details about this Knight of Cups. It's going to be one per card. So, okay. Yes, okay. So we have the Four of Swords. So yes, you've really been doing a lot of manifesting, a lot of mental manifesting, staying balanced, and just contemplation in your mind and manifesting it in your mind first, imagining it all of, with all of your senses I'm seeing, all of your senses to bring this to fruition, to bring this, this love, whatever this love is, emotional satisfaction it's coming okay so what else what about nine of wands let's get some more details so yes you've definitely been taking your time manifesting that for yourself and it's paying off see that i'm just going to show you the four of swords it's paying off you've been doing a lot enough um alone solitude balancing and manifesting for yourself and sure enough look at this the world the world and you so you've been doing everything you physically you've been taking action when you need to you've actually physically worked through those challenges that you had to work through first to get to the end this completion and you have done it you are 
being commended. I just got you're being commended for your your hard work because the world too and your mental work and your uh, your love, your blood, sweat, and tears went into this and now you're being rewarded. The world, your whole world is about to transform before your eyes. That's what I just got. Wow. And some of you, this is in complete transformation of your entire world, a brand new life, a brand new life from what you have ever known, some of you. And for others of you, it's going to be in that specific area that you have been doing that hard work in. Yep. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get some more. Okay, so we have some more details on that. Okay, so we have under that one. Okay, and then we have Emperor, and then we have, okay, that's an extra. Yes, okay, so, yep. Just like I said, with you been balancing out, you've been doing your work, you've been doing the physical, taking action, you've been doing the mental and the emotional manifesting. So you've been balanced about it, and because you've at completion and now you're balanced and you have done that work this is temperance yes so you are ready to receive your ace of pentacles this is why again because you've balanced out you've balanced everything you i just got to you've balanced out your karma you've um so you've worked through some of you have worked through your uh, or you're at the end of working through your nodes of the moon or you've just completed it Astrologically speaking, knows the moon. Those of you that don't know, new viewers, I'm 27 plus years experience in astrology and specifically the nor north and south nodes of the moon, which is each and every one of our personal work that gets put in our subconscious at birth, our south node, and we must work through that south node by bringing it out into the open to know what it is, then working through it so that then we can discontinue. It's a program. It's a past program, ancestral program. That is a blockage in this life, our south node. And again, some of you have just completed that or you are right there at completion and you have balanced your, your energies. You have opened up all your chakras. You have completed uh, and let go of and worked through those blockages. So now you are ready to receive abundance, huge amounts of abundance from the universe. It's, it's because you have done a job well done. And some of you are going to be getting new love, new, uh, more abundant um, money, prosperity, abundance in every way is what I'm seeing. Emotional, mental, physical, spiritual. And yes, look at that. Because you, Nine of Cups, the Emperor is under the Nine of Cups, which means you have also mastered. You have mastered your emotions. You are in command. You consciously are consciously aware of your emotions. There is nothing locked away in your subconscious anymore. And for those of you that aren't quite completed, I'm getting that this is what you're completing. You're bringing out all, all of that and or whatever's not um, completely uh, brought out of your subconscious. You are completing that. And then for others of you, I'm getting that you if you haven't already, you will be bringing something out of your subconscious now, April 25th through the end of May, to be able to physically take a look at it physically and start to take care of it. See, that's what I'm talking, okay. Where you couldn't before, those of you that, that I was saying at the beginning of the reading that you couldn't take care of before, and so you were, and now you can so that you can up-level yourself to this 
relationship, this past relationship for some of you that, that you were out of balance and so you haven't been, but it's a relationship you're wanting to, to rekindle, but you weren't ready to because you had to up-level your own self. You had to do some inner work. Well, you're going to be able to because that's going to be brought out. Whatever that you weren't able to take care of in your subconscious, it's going to be brought out. You're going to bring it out and you're going to desire to take care of it now. You're going to be able to take care of it now, Gemini, because this is the emperor. He's in control and this is you. This is you. You're either embodying this now or you will be complete control of and consciously aware of what you weren't aware of, what was in your subconscious, what was blocking you. You're now, you're aware of it. You know it. It's all out. And you are in command, conscious command of your entire life, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. That's the emperor. And that's the energy you are embodying, or you will be by the end of May. And this doesn't matter if you're male or female. This is an energy of being in control and consciously aware of all parts of yourself on all levels and how to get your needs met in a balanced way where it benefits all involved. That is so beautiful. And then what also came out? The Three of Pentacles. So those of you who are seeking information and who haven't, it hasn't come to light yet for you, it will, it will. That boom of, that I was talking about in the beginning, it will come to you fast and quickly and instantly and maybe even surprisingly like a flash of light, a flash of energy, of big boom of understanding, of knowledge, of wisdom that you didn't have before. And others of you, this is, you've been working through, you have been researching, you've been working through and bringing to light uh, facts, truths that you did not, that you didn't have before so that that brings the subconscious programming or that which you didn't see. Facts change feelings. Facts change feelings. Truth. Yeah, facts change feelings. It's a big one. Okay. You're able to hear the facts, some of you. You're able to hear the facts now. You're able to see, read the facts. And it does change your perspective. It changes your feelings instantly, where you couldn't do that in the past with a specific relationship, whether it has to do with yourself, whether it has to do with yourself and another, and or yourself and others, however that pertains is going to be different for all of you. Wow, that's beautiful though. Okay, I'm being called to get you also. At least one card from this deck and I just cannot remember what this deck is called. Again, I apologize. It's, oh, wow, that was quick. Okay. Oh, wow. Cannot make this up. The first card out. Illumination. What did I say? Boom. You're gonna, something is going to be illuminated for you. Something is going to be a light. It's going to be shown. Truth. Facts change feelings. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's going to enable you to move forward. You're going to be so happy. Wow. That is so amazing. Okay. Illumination. 
Look at this. The second one out is love. A loving illumination or illumination where love is concerned. You are going to be illuminated and it's going to open your heart. It's going to enable you to love, to expand your love, to show your love, to share your love. Oh, and I just got in loving memory. I don't know what that is. In loving memory. Did someone, maybe one of you, I'm getting, this is specific, uh, has just lost a loved one and I'm so sorry. But what I'm getting from that, or if you do lose a loved one this month, you will be able to express that love that you have for that individual, whether it's a friend, a family member, and you will be able to express that outward. And maybe, okay, I'm just getting somebody, I was just shown a picture of someone um, sitting next to someone who is dying. He hasn't, he or she hasn't died yet, but they're in, they're in their bed. And you, so one of you possibly, Geminis, could have this, whether this just recently happened or it's going to happen, I'm not sure. You take this, those of you that this is right for, and I see you speaking to them and you're able to share how much verbally and emotionally share how much you love them and why you love them and whatever um, loving memory that you have or had with them, you're able to share that with them before they pass. And others of you, you I see also another scenario, which is you being able to physically share this, like you're standing up, maybe you're giving your, um, your personal experience with them and you're sharing this with a group, whether it's at the funeral or in the you know, giving loving memory, um, different people standing up, telling their memories and telling their positive experiences, their loving experiences with this individual. That's another thing that I am seeing, being, you being able to do that, Gemini. And another... Uh, these flowers, I was drawn to the flowers. Oh, we're going to be done here in a second. I better stop because it's not 42 and I don't want it to stop. Blessings, okay? That's a blessing for you. So I apologize, Gemini. So before it stops on its own, that's all I have for you. Awesome. You have illumination, love, and blessings this month. Okay, Gemini. Until next time.